Hello, everyone. We are live with a Season 14 Week 1 game of the TTS League. This is Shane Smith's roster here. Quick snap. He is playing a, uh, a Spider Foes, Red Skull, Master of the World, uh, dual-affiliated list. And against him is Merzane. Merzane is playing the a looks like a Sam Avengers team with a few cool splashes as well so uh, i'm going to let them know we are live and uh, joining me on commentary today is ben aka yeah. rev right mad how's it going man hey we're living the dream i'm glad to be uh on, on twitch with you uh and this is uh this is pretty cool uh, i know shane and Rosane, so i'm excited to see uh, how they both do and looks like we got some priority roles yeah it looks like that shane's got the priority here uh he's playing uh, let's see what he's got. He's got Hammers, Montessi, and uh, and Researcher, Intrusions, Gamma, Demons. Looks like he wants to fight. Playing on Street Fight, a classic map here. Merzane's running Scrolls, Researcher, Hammer, Sword, Fisk, Gamma. So both teams want to uh, want to get in the action here. We've got uh, Sam Avengers as anti-attrition, and uh, and and Shane is running mostly attrition scenarios. So. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I mean, you got to love the slaps, right? You know, uh, Shane, you know, and his Zenith uh, at, at playing MCP, uh, was a great practice partner of mine. And uh, so he's he used used to those slap fights. Uh, and so I'm really excited to, uh, to see what's going to happen. So it looks like we've got intrusions and hammers. All right. Okay, and, cool. uh, and thus the slaps begin, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, very cool. The, uh, um, yes, Patrick pointed out in the chat that um, the chat is the overlay is showing a one nothing lead for Shane. It's a little bit of a glitch in the current system, but it'll be resolved by the end of round one, I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and you've got a new mic apparently, uh, Ben. So that's uh, you're coming in very clear, which is really good. No, it's actually just my sultry voice now. It's just really, I mean, need people to get that pristine voice. Yeah. Uh, now, this is a new mic that we got around Christmas time. Um, it's one of those cool Yeti uh, mics uh, that it feels like like an old timey radio guy. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like it a whole bunch and uh, allows me to not have stuff. I hate headsets. Like it just makes my my head all sweaty. So. Uh, I just like having my my voice out like a little radio head. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's right. Uh Mithrandir Ron Mithrandir aka Ron in the chat is saying, "Let's go season 14 starting off with a bang." And yeah, uh that is uh these are two very strong players. Shane has top aided in the cuts before. He's also been uh previously he uh, had hold, held the title for the uh number 1 ranked Spider Foes player and Merzane recently achieved the title of number one Avengers player. Yeah. And I was about to say currently yes. it's uh Merzane for, for the rest of, of this match shall forever be known as Mr. Avenger, Mr. <laughs> Avenger. Yeah. So this is, uh, uh, this is Mr. Avenger versus the, uh, the, the old zaps and traps himself, Shane Smith. So uh, I'm, I'm really, <laughs> really excited uh, to see this match. Uh, unfortunately, Trap House isn't the the roster that he was bringing. I was trying to encourage him to bring uh, probably the best dual roster uh, that you can bring, which is Winter Guard Sentinels. I was advocating for that earlier today, um, but he didn't listen to me. So shows you what shows you what he knows, right? Uh, <laughs> That's fair. Hey, um, for any uh, all, there's also a callback nickname that uh, Shane goes by, and it's uh, is the Goblin King, isn't that right? Isn't that what is uh, his an old uh, oh, yeah. couple years ago? Yeah, we did. We were. He super loved that, if I remember correctly, too. Uh, uh, yeah, when we were on our, we had our cast uh, of. Uh, oh, I don't even remember the name of uh, we, Crisis. Uh, uh, <laughs> crap! No, I don't remember either. Uh, yeah, it was Crisis something. Uh, cri no, yeah, whatever. Crisis, it, what, or what? crisis point, or it's something about a command point, but crisis yeah, point. It was, yeah, it was crisis point. That's right. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, which was kind of a, an affiliate off of his main podcast for Kill Team, which is Command Point. Uh, but yeah, we ended up calling him the Goblin King for for a while on there, and that was pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, 
uh, we, we we love to see it. The return of of Goblin King uh, himself versus the Mister Avenger. Oh, yeah, uh, there we go. So we're we're really excited. And look, he's rocking the Gamers Guild uh, measuring tools. He's got that smexy pink uh, A. That's right. That's right there. So yeah, we're we're living the dream currently. Uh, I don't think did they ping a, a point value? Yeah, nineteen. 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 We're seeing some nineteen. Uh, Lucas, if 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 you were Mister Him Avenger himself, uh, what nineteen would you be running with? Hmm. Let me see if I can pull up his roster on the chat history. Here. Oh, won't even look. Just wild guess. Oh, even if there's not even a character that's that's on the roster, just <laughs> what if, what's your sweet Avengers nineteen on Hammer's intrusions? Uh, all right. Um. Uh, Sam. I don't know, dude. I, I'm so bad at this. So, uh, there's not <laughs> I'm like put a... you on the spot. I mean, that's why you you asked me here. I put you on the spot. <laughs> okay. I, okay. Let's see here. Um, well, he's gonna Sam, Iron Man, and uh, Luke Cage seems pretty sweet, or I mean, pretty good for nine to start. And then he's got uh, ten more points. So, um, I don't know. I uh, do you do like Hulk and Voodoo. Um, but like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, there you go. That's like my starting point, I guess. Okay. I'd, uh, okay. And then I would work, uh, I'd work from, uh, that depending on what I think Shane is going to bring or, uh, not bring. Um, oh, so that's the flexibility think? of, of a three threat leader, right? Um, is, is you just have so many options. And then obviously, you know, with the plethora of Avenger characters that we have, you know, Voodoo Hulk is, is just such a great start right so and you're not really getting into the to the depth the meat of, of some of the intricacies that you can have um with avengers so that's really that's really cool uh I, i'm like if i'm if i'm mr goblin king you know one of my my primary concerns is is seeing a hulk um and and i don't know i i don't know if i'm if i'm going foes here or uh or skull i guess we're about to find out it looks like uh, Red Skull right here. Yet we see uh, Rhino, Mysterio, Zemo. Ooh, here's a fun pick. We get Loki with this. Is that the Space Stone? Yeah, yeah we see is. the Space Stone Loki. That's pretty cool. Uh, with Red Skull 3. And and who did Mr. Avenger himself bring? All right. Well, he brought uh, Sam, uh, Beta Ray Bill, Hulk, Lizard, and Luke Cage. Sacrifice, you know? Grace, Eyes, Avengers Assemble Heroes for Hire. Shane brought Brace. I am a Baron. This is Robbery, Dark Reign, The Grand Illusion. I like it. Uh, I, I like it a whole bunch. Um, you know, I'm seeing, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, shouts out in chat for for when eyes and a prize, if eyes and a prize. I, can we just throw that card in the garbage? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so tired of it. I don't know about you. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, it, it is interesting. Um, I now talking to Shane, um, I do like when we were talking about this list a little bit, um, that Loki with space gives him a safe grab without eating up a tactic card, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I think that's a little bit more uh, innovative than the old Bill eyes. Um, so if when you know, advance R and D. Uh, you know, eyes on the prize, man. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I, I would, I would just like that day to come, like yesterday. You know, um, but that's that's just me. Uh, maybe I'm biased. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just a crazy man, uh, a crazy Magneto. You know. Oh, oh by the way, I I am going to be talking about Magneto a bunch. If you haven't seen X Men '97. Um, Stop what you're doing and go watch that show immediately. There's eight episodes. Go do it. Uh, Lucas, have you been watching it? Do I have to yell I, at you I, on, no, on stream? No, no, I did watch it, and I did watch. Okay, I was about to say I will epic. yell at you on stream. I will. <laughs> there was a, uh, there was an epic monologue in uh, one of the more recent episodes that was uh, very cool. Very cool. Did you think? Did you think of me as it was I happening? Did, I hope I, I was thinking of I, you. I hope yes. You, Thank you. There was, I got a lot of shout outs and a lot of messages uh, after that. It was like, Ben, I hope you've seen it. I'll go, oh, I've watched, I've watched it three times already. That, that episode and episode two, 
Uh, Alyssa's like, are you watching it again? And go, I, I don't even ask questions at this point, dear. I love you. It's just, we're just, it's just a part of my weekly routine is, is watching those episodes. So, uh, yeah, go out and watch X-Men, uh, 97. Um, uh, I do think this, uh, interesting deployment for, for Rhino behind this size five, you know, I guess he climbs and threatens the, uh, the slap over there. I, what what do you, what are you thinking this this deployment for old old Rhino head over here? Uh, I think that Rhino is fine there. He's gonna be able to hit that hammer if uh, if someone stays on that point. I I was uh, thinking about uh, Mysterio not being able to double move on this uh, bottom secure if he put him there, but Shane opted to put Mysterio in a spot where he can actually get to the midline with two move actions on round one. So, um. Yeah, it's, it is nice to see, you know, in his five-man, you know, Cabal squad, he, he does have two foes, uh, two foe characters that uh, looks like Merzane is having an aneurysm currently with Hulk um, as he's not happy about the uh, buildings that are in the way. Um, so uh, you love to see it. And friends, if you're not playing with terrain in the deployment zone, um, I don't know if you're playing MCP correct. Uh, that's just my two cents, my hot take. Um I know he he wants to grab that lovely hammer uh, with Hulk, uh, but but based on on where that lovely uh, building is, uh, he's not able to get it. So I I, I love it. I, I I think it was very smart, uh, you know, uh, deployment uh, placement or or flipping of the of the map. So uh, so yeah, make that happen. Uh, and uh, shout out to uh, to old Pat. Uh, uh, for, for making this mat, uh, and this map, this is a, a great terrain. And uh, for those who haven't given a, a, a shot, uh, Mike DeLuca, uh, who I think is in the chat, is uh, is putting out some mats uh, or maps for uh, for the mod. So give those a shout and and let him know or let others you know know what you think of them. You know, as we get more uh, more maps equals more better. So. Uh, I think it looks like they're they're ready to go. Uh, yeah, so here's like the it. the power phase, uh, and, and of course there was always a, a virtual handshake that was given, uh, as the gentleman and scholars, Mister Avenger and the Goblin King, uh, have right. You know. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so let's see here. We've got uh, overall Red Skull in the middle with Baron Zemo in the middle, mid mid lower. We got Rhino bottom flank. And the Mysterio and Loki on the top flank facing off against Hulk and Luke Cage, who is in the top mid flank, Sam in the middle, Lizard bottom mid flank, and then Bill on the other flank. Basically, Merzane has seen that uh, that Loki's gonna go for the uh, gonna go for the mid grab uh, with the space gem. And then uh, and so he's put Bill there to basically respond to that. Yep. Yeah, smart smart deployment uh, from from Josh, um, aka Mister Avenger. You got We got to pick up the Mister Avenger mm, name. Yeah, you know, we got. Yeah. I know it's uh, he fought. You know, uh, tooth and nail to get that. Uh, That's right. That is well earned. Well earned. Um, yep. So Loki grabbing the hammer and and backing off just just to avoid the potential slappage from Hulk. Uh, and not surprising anyone, we see the Beta Ray Bill safe grab. Uh, with the eyes, the prize play. Uh, interesting, though, like I said, with the C maps, though, uh, there is uh, an interesting, you, you're not really on the point, so it's it's kind of a give and take, right? You know, you're grabbing that, but you're not able to kind of go and contest uh, or secure a back D point, uh, which is always an interesting struggle. Um, yeah. And let's see how long, you know, uh, Bill can be safe for. Uh, early activation of, of Rhino here. Um, let's see if he's trying to get cheeky with Beta Ray Will. No, good placement by uh, by Josh, or uh, a.k.a. Mr. Avenger himself. Uh, and moving aggressively for the turn two play. What do you what do you think, Lucas? Uh, I think that there's no real um, there's no real threat here for Rhino to have to deal with a four dice attack, a couple of four dice attacks at the most, 
and uh, and if he does that with Lizard, he he's losing the uh, he's handing over a VP. So looks like uh, Captain America yeah, is walk. opting to yeah. just uh, or I shouldn't say that because there is an actual Captain America on the board, but uh, yeah, the uh, Mister America is opting to bring Lizard onto the intrusion portal. There we go, Mister America. Yeah, Mister America. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if, if if Josh has reached his promotion of getting captain <laughs> yet, but you know, Mister America is probably good. Yeah, um, yeah, and of course, um, you know, Josh wisely um, w double moving Lizard uh, to contest that point with Rhino uh, that Rhino is on. Um, what what is your if you're if you're Shane here, Lucas? What is your your thought process here going into um, the rest of this round and? What are you trying to, what are, what are you hoping for? Uh, well, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. You're going to have to, um, you're looking to set up round two because on this round, you're not going to be, uh, winning on the secures because you've got the Sam and Hulk displacement options, um, that are, that Merzane has available to him. Like, I think that we're going to see him, uh, a Hulk activate after Mysterio, for example, double walk and just throw Mysterio medium, uh, which yeah. really hurts him a lot more than a lot of other characters. So you're going to have to respond uh, on another side of the board, probably. Um, and so I'd like to see Shane setting that up in some way, uh, going in if he wants to, like, uh, win round, like, take the the VP lead on round two. Do you, do you walk, walk intrusions, uh, with, with, uh, Mysterio to get him so that, uh, you know, Hulk has to spend all of his power to do that. I wonder if that's, uh, yeah, that seems pretty about. reasonable. You could also put Mysterio in a spot, maybe on this lower intrusion where he is, um, he doesn't have many options in terms of directional uh, displacement. Like you could nudge him in between Lizard and the building, maybe, and that yeah. way it's less impactful. So that's a good. I like that idea. That's good. Yeah, I, I think you know um, either for forcing Hulk to spend all three, right? Um, and he could miss too. Right, and yeah, and he could he could miss. Um, I mean, that would just be kind of the, the sweet spot. <laughs> Funny too, because if Mysterio misses but hits the blank. Uh, he gets to try again because you'll get the refund. So right, right. Uh, so are we seeing? Uh, oh, I, I am a Baron after all oh, so on turn that. one. Oh my yeah. goodness! And, no uh, skulls, and he just though. chose violence. <laughs> just chose violence instead. Uh, uh, yeah, I love it. Oh my! Bill uh, rolled really well. Uh, oh yeah, Bill doing Bill stuff. Uh, that's all right. Ah. Uh. That's, I'm sure Shane is happy with that. Uh, it's it sets up a uh, a strong opening option to, uh, to to take that hammer away from Bill. Yeah, I don't hate it. I don't I don't hate it at all. Um, Heroes for Hire Online now. Oh no, it's not yet, but it will be uh, on round two. But you have to remember the hammer tax. Something that could be easily forgotten. He's activating Hulk here before he activates. Um, yeah, in, interesting. In, interesting. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, oh, he's going through the portal. Is he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah he's going through the portal. All right, we're seeing a Hulk through the portal. He's gonna throw. And Rhino. he misses it. And oh he misses no! It. Oh, Josh. Oh, Mister Mister Avenger. He's gonna roll it again. Uh, what would America oh, no, he think of? Oh man, he was gonna. He was definitely going to take Rhino and throw him into Red Skull or something like that. Yeah, he was. Yep. That's I, I, I mean, I love the aggression. Saw. But now yeah. he's uh, so lost it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so he gets he gets it he gets it this time. So he, he gets this point, um, which is a problem for Rhino, right? Um, but I think with priority, um, you know, Rhino is pretty safe with an attack on the bill uh, with the place. Um, this is a robbery, right? I mean, so I I think I think Rhino is okay. Right, uh, or at least Zemo and or Skull is okay, um, are are okay um, from avoiding a big old Slavic man in a rhino suit. Um, and the nice thing is Mysterio's going to be uh, should be safe from Sam with his stealth, right? So uh, Sam's got to pick up that hammer. Oh, 
Okay, so she yeah, Shane's considering what uh, threat uh, projection that Sam has before he ends up. Uh, oh, that's that's Josh measuring. That's oh, Josh measuring. Right, yep. Right, okay. yep. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So it looks like you know, I mean, he might try to get a cheeky shot into to Zemo. I don't know if you want to juice up Zemo too much. Um, and he's one power away from getting the charge spender, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, it's four. Yep. So, um, for the next turn. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I, I really like this, a uh, risky move from, from Josh early on. Um, I really like the aggression. Um, but, and we see a continual aggression five die attack, uh, of old of the Sam variety. And, uh, we get the ricochet. Man, Shane rolling really oh, well. Goodness four on gracious. four. Oh, goodness gracious. Four on three, I mean. Uh, yeah, geez. No, no damage over here, but we see a ricochet. I didn't see who the ricochet was going into. Into a red skull, it looks like. And red skull. Who okay. also does a does a two blocks here, but he's going to take damage. He's he's going to take some oh. damage and get pushed. Man, those are uh, some nice skull. throws from Sam. My goodness. Look, I'll tell you what. Um, there's we've got a secret at Nashcon. I don't know if you <laughs> if you've heard this, Lucas. Uh, Sam Wilson wins Nashcon. I, you want to win Nashcon? You just come play Sam Wilson, and uh, Mister America, Mister Avenger himself knows this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He uh, has. He's a previous Nashcon champion. Uh, do I have that correct? Uh, I, I don't remember if, uh, so I missed the first one. I, I missed the first have, one. I think he might, have I, think he might have, I don't know if he played in the finals or if he won that one. Um, um, but I know that he, uh, has done very well and has played at, at all of the Nash cons. So there we go. Yeah. Confirmation in the chat. So that's good. It's cool. So yes. All right. So now let's see how Shane opens here. I, like, I was going to say that Red Skull not taking any damage before that last activation would have put him only at one power, which would have meant he was still unable to play Brace. Um, yeah. But, but now he's taken damage, so he can now play it. Yeah, the Brace online is, is, is big. I don't know if he loves the two damage, um, but you're right. You know, keeping it um, safe from the potential Rhino shenanigans. But look... Looks like Shane is measuring Rhino into uh, into Bill to kind of get the the joyous uh, Rhinobri play off. Yeah, we don't. So here's the thing that's very that's that you have to be careful about because if you attack Bill, um, he can advance and you do damage. He can use his aggressive to get outside of range one, which is the range requirement for this is a robbery. So right, yeah, it's his uh, his aggression would be after. Uh, after you place, yes. so so let's see what happens here. Um, no I guess, damage. I guess technically, uh, yeah, no damage. Live in the dream. <laughs> um, uh, is he doing it again? Is that what we're doing? Um, okay. I guess they're skipping the place ability. Uh, what a six blocks. All right. Um, I guess so. So yeah, no damage six. at all. So, no damage at all. Um, all right. So now he's placing. He Bill still can't play aggressive. Uh, can't uh, play the aggressive uh, ability because he didn't. He also didn't take damage there either. Yep. Uh, it is. It is rough with the not being able to have the power for Rhinobri. Um I would have probably uh, done this in a little bit of a little different order. Oh, I, th okay, this... I think there must have been a first uh, something on the first roll must have been scuffed. So that's why they're they're doing another attack. But, oh, but this okay. time Luke Cage is body blocking it. So which means that Rhino uh, is going to be. Yeah, I'm for, yeah, not a uh, so, you know, aggressive placement from Shane. You got to be careful with these reverse bodyguards, right? Um, oh, but he's is he going to get. Oh, look at that. They're measuring it. He's oh, just yeah. out of range. Oh, one of Sam. goodness. Yeah, goodness gracious. Okay. Okay, well, Rhino can't steal. He's off the point. So kind of uh, a... He's just uh, not really having... He's going to stampede out of the way, it looks like. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you got to stampede to get on the point, right? Yeah. Uh, to, make, to make it worth it. Yeah, what a what a rough rhino activation here. Oh, he's gonna stay there. Okay. 
Yeah, might as well, I guess, keep the power. But you're you're about to get uh, bullied a little bit. Yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, Red Skull, Loki, really kind of out of position to kind of do some significant stuff. So um, I'm assuming, is this a bill attack? It looks I like it's six dice. Easy. Is it six dice? Okay. Yeah, six dice. So it looks like it's Bill going into Zemo here. Um, uh, just a one block so far. Uh, looks like Shane played Master Swordsman, so he's able to reroll a couple times. Oh man, look at that hit! Five successes. It's uh, gonna take three, three damage. There. Man, Bill is showing up with that hammer there. God huntered. No, it's just a, it was just a builder. Yeah, it was just a builder. Just a builder. Yeah, just a builder. All right. Uh, well, at least he whiffs this this other one. Shane's got to enthusiastically roll those dice. Don't don't just give him a little toss. Give him a big toss. Ooh, Zemo living on one though means he's. Uh... Oh, he's. Uh, I get a sense of a building coming his way. Mm, very fair. Yeah, you probably. Or just throwing him. Or just throw him. Is he going to play Brace here to get an activation into Zemo? That is the question. Uh, I don't know. Gives you some freedom to, to try to be aggressive with other characters if you want to get a daze yourself. Um, but Zemo, I don't know. Yeah, Zemo's You kind of want to save that. And... Yeah, that was a stun from, from the Bill uh, Builder. Um did he play Brace? Does he he's debating like he... it, I think. That's if he's okay. putting his tools out, so. Yeah. I'm just wondering if he's, I mean, I know he wants to save it to prevent, you know, Rhino uh, coming into somebody. Um, we only have one size four terrain. Oh, no, two size four terrains. You have the Gunner's Den and the restaurant. Uh, I know he's, yeah, he's mulling it over. This is, uh, this is rough. I mean, if you're, if you're Shane, do you, do you play Brace here? Uh I think that it, uh, it's tough um, because, man, you're going to get so much more worse crap thrown at your team. I think you right. can't play it. That's Yeah, I, I, I would I would I'd be on the safe side, too, of most likely letting Zemo go down here. Um, so while we're in this little bit of a down period here, I just got to say that um, we've got an event coming up in June that is a TTS rivalry battle. It's a five versus five uh, meta on meta uh, team battle. We've got the Montreal Shark Tank taking on the uh, Pork Roll Protocol in a WTC style event that's going to be over the course of three weeks. And we'll see which meta comes out on top. June, starting mid June, and it lasting for three weeks. So please tune into that. Most a lot of games will be on my channel. A few other streamers, I'm sure, will join in, and uh, and it'll be very exciting. I think we're gonna have more details of the event, including rules and player reveals, coming up this Thursday evening. So uh, tune into that. It's uh, it will be very cool. Yeah, uh, I, I think it's gonna be awesome. Thank you for uh, uh, for lifting that up. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be great. Of uh, the uh, the tri-state protocol uh you know that's that's happening um looks like we got a heroes for hire oh shame yeah, zemo so zemo did brace he charged in he's got yeah. heroes for oh, hire and he's shame. about to get he's about to get god here yes oh man oh did he did he one shot he, did he one shot luke cage uh yeah I, I i don't i don't believe he did no I don't believe it. Not with not with two successes showing. Um, oh, that is very rough. Oh yeah. man! He needed to he needed to attack uh, Beta Ray Bill there, but uh, it's funny because like you could have even sac. Oh no, yeah, you needed to attack Beta Ray Bill there. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, this is uh, this poor. This is rough for for Shane here, right? You know, you you spend the tactic card brace uh, for for nothing here, and. Uh, that's rough. I mean, a great play from from Mr. Avenger, right? Uh, this is a, a, a pristine example of uh, why Josh has time and time again been the Mr. America. Uh, we all know that long shank rankings mean everything, right? If you're not on long shank and you're not on the top something, you're nobody in this game, right? I mean, I think that's pretty 
pretty much widely acceptable. Uh, right in the chat, uh, you know, press X if you agree. I don't know why X, but choose X or A for America. Um, we all know this, and uh, Merzane is is the one. And then we see a lovely one shot from oh Hulk into Red Skull. Goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is the power of America, right? Hulk comes in uh, and gives some freedom to Red Skull, right? Uh, so there is some freedom. Uh, everyone knows that Hulk loves freedom, right? Sometimes you just want to leave Hulk alone, right? Oh, man, that was just brutal. Yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, I'm try If you're not laughing, you're crying, right? So... Um, <laughs> this this is one of those those moments. I mean, if you're in Shane's spot, you know, we have just probably the two worst things that could happen to you right, right uh, in conjunction with each other. So it uh, looks like uh, Mysterio rolled to go on the intrusions and is getting placed. Uh, so just to compile things more, uh, your Zemo dies on his turn. Red Skull gets one shot. And now, now Mysterio is getting placed. Not necessarily where you want him to go. When he rolled the skull too, of course not. A blank. Yeah, I didn't even roll the blank to be nice, right? <laughs> um, and of course, right outside of uh, threes. <laughs> oh, Shane! Oh man! <laughs> He's gonna pay. He's gonna pay to roll again. Here's the here's the here's the classic double fail. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he got it. He got it. All right. Well, that's that's something. It's it's definitely something. So let's see these four die attacks. He's gonna go into Hulk here. Four die attack. Uh, he's got a skull, so you can use the skull. Which uh, I'm sure he will, because he got a blank yep. to to counteract the skull, costing him life. Uh, yo, look at that! Hulk rolls nothing, and uh, uh, it means he's getting advanced off the point. I mean, hey, that's that's something, right? Um, uh, that is something. Ah, oh, man. Uh, so I mean, uh, all right, Lucas, bring it, bring us back in. If if you're if you're Shane, okay, yeah, uh, things are not going your way. Uh, what what are you doing? What's your what's your mental uh, you know place? Where are you at? You know, what's uh, the game plan? I think the plan is to send Loki in with those six dice counting blanks, and uh, and just just hammer more damage into Hulk. I I don't like the advance that Hulk took here to put him inside sacrifice range of Bill. Uh, I think yeah. that was uh, I think that was not optimal. Um, I also don't like Mysterio being uh, in the spot where Loki would want to be in uh, coming up. I, I'm hoping Loki's in medium range to hit that portal, um, but because then he'd be able to play I am a god into an into a, 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 his one action his one attack action he's gonna get this round. Um, all right, he's sending Hulk away from the rest of his team. Merzane doesn't have mission objective, which means that he's going to be able to rob Hulk and displace him even further away at the beginning of next round. So I think that's probably what Shane's seeing here. Uh, oh, now yeah. now he's, he's taking the Loki attack options off the board um, for now. I mean, into uh, Loki doesn't have any attacks here and except for into Lizard. So let's see what he can do with him when uh, he en ends up going with him. But we've got three activations on Merzane's side still to go. Yeah. I, and I think if you're Shane, you know, preparing for round three, um, you've got to be really careful where you position Rhino or, or you're just going to get Luke caged again. Right. Um, which was part of uh, some of the placement, you know, on, on, on round two here. So um, looks like we've got, uh, lizard, the old, the old four die attack into oh, oh just a casual four. Oh man, four. On, hey, uh, let's get six on four. Hey, this on, is what six this on is, four. Let's 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 recognize that this oh, is what goodness. Mr. Avenger does. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Avenger gets six on four. Okay, oh, this is goodness. what you do. This is why he's Mr. Avenger. <laughs> That's okay? just absolutely crazy uh, uh, well he pays for the one die hey shane gets the block oh my god don't he did it again it dude. he did it again hey, look, hey let's get let's get oh hey look it's only four on six lucas it's only four so, on so six. what is that so what is is that uh 10 successes on eight dice 
over yeah, that's that's only, that's only uh, on 12 on dice. dice on 12 dice yeah it's only 10 on 12 no 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 right? but he started with a he started with a he started with a yeah it started with a. yeah <laughs> it's fine that's, fine. that's look if I am a math expert. Okay. I got my degree in Jesus, which qualifies me to, to tell you statistics on dice rolls, okay. especially on D eights. Uh, and if you're Mr. America, Mr. Avenger himself, um, it's perfectly average to get 10 successes on, on, on eight dice. So, uh, that's just math, Lucas. I don't, I don't know. Shane, Shane uh, comments in the game chat. He says, I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. I think that's the wrong meme. I think the meme is, please stop. He's already dead. Um, I think that's that's the more accurate meme that we should be going with. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. That's very, very bad. I mean, the I, good news is that Mysterio is going to have full health um, at the at the beginning of next round. Uh, but that's uh, and he's going to be able to play Grand Illusion. So that's a couple of things he's got going for him. Um, oh, oh, thanks, Simon. Thank you for the, the shout out for Bullseye, uh, Simon. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, that's a lovely LVO memory that I'll, I'll never forget. Uh, just for just so that everyone else gets that reference. Uh, uh, Simon and I played round six uh, uh, in at LVO and yeah, Bullseye blocked 17, uh, 17 hit hits on 11 dice when I like attacked him twice threw something at him. I think with with Rogue, right, Simon? I think it was I think it was with Rogue, and uh, and I'm just sitting there, just like, man, I, I have to laugh so I don't cry, right? Like, um, it was uh, it was just crazy. So it looks like we're seeing uh, Loki. I mean, at this point, uh, I mean, if I'm in Shane's position, um, I, I think we're pressing the red button, right? You know, uh, our board position's really not great, uh, points whoa, wise. Whoa, Shane is. Uh... What is he doing? I don't understand. Why did he not uh, activate? Why did he not do anything with Loki? Uh, I think he just didn't want to lose the hammer, maybe? is. Man, uh, oh, hold the point. Yeah, but like you could have moved over to where Lizard was and put a, a six dice counting blank into Lizard. I guess like, I guess that wasn't. Well, so he dropped the hammer by going through the oh, fuck. intrusion. Yeah, yeah. He, go, uh, he dropped the hammer. So, yeah. I mean, he could have uh spaced walk walk to get to like where Luke Cage is to kind of get him into a threatening position. Uh but now the problem is going to round three, Loki is So he should have he should have double walked Loki and put him on the middle dark portal then, I think. Exactly. Yeah, you double walk space gem if you need to um on the dark. Yeah. Uh, Cause then what that does is it also prevents Luke Cage uh most likely from not being able to reverse bodyguard. Yeah, um, I don't love. I mean, so Merzane, you know, getting Luke Cage on the point just to get score points. Um, so, uh, so I, I think what you got to do if you, if you're Shane here, I I, I want to see a stampede. Then this is a a, a robbery. Um, he's got to get out of Luke Cage, Luke Cage's range. Um, yeah. A Grand Illusion isn't I doing anything. Know, I don't know right if you now. can get out of Luke Cage's range. I think that's also why Merzane put him there. It's just really obnoxious. Actually, I would have, if I was Merzane, I would have put him even closer to Rhino. Yeah, uh, I would have touched the car. Oh, or he something can, oh, like he can that. break through the car, of course. There we go. There right, we go. yeah. So now he's yeah. going to go into, uh, I don't know, I guess you go into Hulk here. I think you got to, because you got to be careful, you know, with. Beta and yeah, uh, yeah, the exactly. I mean, you could Josh also lock in three out of four. <laughs> it, so no damage, yeah. no skull, uh, no skull roll. Merzane's also rolling at the same time as Shane is, which is uh, letting Shane have more extra information. Information, yeah, uh, which is a mistake if you're playing against Red Skull, but it's it's a hard habit to break when you're usually rolling defense dice right after they roll attack dice. So yeah, that's a that's a good point, Lucas. Yeah. Okay, it looks like he's just doing another attack here. Oh, terrible roll and good block. So no damage again. Not what you want to see. I, I'm surprised he didn't just play the stampede and then like take a walk away. Or sorry, play the robbery and then walk away. He did two attacks. Um, oh, the, the reroll from Zemo converted. That's why he was able to get one damage through there. So 
Gotcha. Um, I wonder, did he have enough power to, I wonder if he had enough power um, to do all of what he wanted to do. He should be after, after doing the stampede. Um, Oh, I think so. I guess maybe, maybe not. He took a damage from something. So, um, he, he might have, yeah, yeah I think he, had, I think he had it. He, did he pay for stampede? Uh, he did, looks... he did, he did. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, he's going to try to make Sam play, pay two power for Brace here. Um, let's see if he can hit the throw. Oh, he does get it. Oh, a good look line. at that. That's good line. Yeah, that was great. All right. And is he going to roll on it? He is. He could die if he whiffs. Oh, takes four takes damage. Four. Takes four. But uh, why, got... why no brace there? Why, why do you think no brace there? Um, I think that's because um, having Sam with no power is is pretty sad. And he just didn't want to be in that spot. Yeah, I, guess. But he's, I guess he's safe though, right? I mean, he's safe. Like Zemo doesn't have charge up, so it's a walk attack. Which yeah. walk five I'm, die attack probably doesn't kill him. I'm uh, I'm not I I agree that like um, if I'm winning and my character is holding an objective, then and that throw could kill him. Yeah, I, I it's like that's like those are like all of the conditions in which I would play the card. Yeah, like again, like I mean, he probably doesn't die. You should block one on uh, on three, but it's still it's too risky for me. Um, I would have just played the. The brace. Um, so Rhino, Rhino taking you know a little bit of damage from the throw. Oh no, Zemo! Sorry, he threw it into Zemo. Oh, okay. ouch! All right, yeah, Zemo. taking KOing Zemo here would be just another punch to the gut for uh, yeah. for Merzane into Shane here. Wow, look at that! Oh man, Yikes. that is a sick roll. <laughs> oh goodness oh, gracious! <laughs> oh, yikes! Yeah, Zemo's dead. He just got took eight damage yeah. there, and, and yeah. Uh, so I think the correct meme is "Please stop. He's already dead." Yeah, yeah. yeah this is absolutely just just gross. Merzane yeah. is just clapping. And then here comes the Hulk smash uh, into Rhino. Oh, there's another decent uh, roll. That's, that's, a, that's a spender. It's probably too, so. it's probably his lowest success roll. Uh, you know, six on ten. It's probably the lowest success yet. No, nah, he whiffed a Sam throw. I saw it. Oh, you saw it? Okay, I saw, sorry. I, I, must have it. Yeah, yeah. I blacked out with all of the <laughs> all of the other death and pain. Yeah, definitely collide. Definitely collides in Mysterio there. Mysterio at least gets yeah. to roll six dice. Or five. Is it five, five dice? Five dice, yeah. Five dice. Uh, Block and two. Oh, man. It's just really brutal. Yeah, so I mean, he's not dead. So. Uh, uh, but he's like. But, but he's not happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. he's not. Yeah. Um. Well. Uh. Yeah. I. I I'm kind of lost for words of of kind of. You know. I mean. Uh. This is the problem, right? Uh. Red Skull's just in the middle of nowhere, right? Um. Yeah. At least he can he can take power away from his team, but he's already has so much power. So we're gonna see a range three place on himself here. It looks like, and then, um. He's just going to try to YOLO Rhino here, or Hulk here, maybe. Yeah, cr <laughs> yes, Crun, uh, Crunstall, Crunstall, yeah, I think I, th I think you have named it well. Um, this has gone sideways very quickly, um, which is, is rough. And this is, uh, you know, I think a prime example of, you know, one of the things that if you're not careful, right, uh, I think this really started with um, a really poor position from Rhino, um, placing himself within the taunt range of Luke Cage on turn two, where things really started to cascade for, for Shane. Um, and a, a bad position kind of just spiraled into so many other things going wrong. Um, and so what's key, and uh, I really uh, encourage you, if you haven't had an opportunity um, to listen to the Danger Rooms episode uh, on Tilt, Right, you got to be careful. Just collect your composure, um, you know, catch your breath, uh, and you know, if you got to take a you know five minute walk away, you know, breathe. Um, I did this uh, at at Everwinter uh, last year, where things were just going sideways really quickly, um, and while it was on clock, you just say, "I'm I'm going to take I'm going to take on my time, walk away, catch your breath, refocus, 
uh, and then get back into it uh, because things can spiral really quickly. Uh, not to say that that Shane, you know, is um, you know tilting or anything like that. I know Shane. Shane's hopefully laughing and have a good time. Josh is a great opponent, right? He laughs. Um, but yeah, you, you got to be able to compose yourself when when things like this are happening. Um, uh, Shane, Shane is letting us know that Josh is grabbing groceries. So this is another strategy uh, that only Mr. America can do is while you're whooping on somebody, go tell them you're going to get some groceries. Just like, I want you to sit in it for a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, what a power move that only Mr. Avenger himself Our can same. do. He's the type of guy that will bring all his groceries in, in one with one arm, right? He's one oh, of those yeah. Guys. I mean, I've seen him do it. I saw it with one pinky, right? That's only a, an Avenger player move. That's what you can do. Um, one trip, one pinky, right? Um, because you got to call over the rest of the Avengers, right? Avengers assemble with everything else, right? So... Um, Lucas, wh while we're, while we're kind of just waiting for, for Josh to come up, what is the worst whooping you have ever received in this game? I don't, I don't want to give my opponent the, uh, the, uh, just, you don't, you don't, you don't want to give them, you don't I don't want to the feed their ego. <laughs> I'm never going to mention without their name the on my name. stream again. So, so yeah, w without using names, tell, just, just paint us a scene, paint us a picture. I don't know. Um. Or allegedly, uh, say it was somebody else. It wasn't you. We'll just, we'll think of somebody else. I don't know. I've got a few that are like, um, I've got a few close losses that are just like came down to things, but like big whoopings absolutely destroyed. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't know. There's a season nine, a season nine league game that I got crushed in. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. There was, uh, I just got displaced all over the board. Couldn't, uh, score any points. I had priority. They went last. All their characters could throw or, or shift attacks through bodyguards. And, oh yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. And so it's like, that was, uh, <laughs> that was, I'm sure, I'm sure I, I've got the, the video on my YouTube of me getting annihilated has a lot of views. So, <laughs> uh, so maybe just like search my popularity on my YouTube channel and, and, there you you know, go. and you'll see maybe. But, it, should, uh, yeah. uh, it should have a content warning on it of please be prepared for, for whooping. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what's great about me is I have a lot of whoopings that are on the internet. Like I've just been whooped. A lot. Every time I, I win or beat someone of some, significance it's never on stream oh, yeah, yeah. never yeah. And, you know no one's ever putting it on i was like it's it's the worst makes me so mad <laughs> uh but uh, uh last year uh, actually at that everywhere uh where i was starting to starting to tilt a little bit uh uh by mr the guild himself he he uh very handily whooped me uh looks like uh looks like mizane is is back okay uh or that Shane is just playing by himself too, which you know I, I might do at this point. So. <laughs> He's uh, he had he paid four on Rhino for for something. Oh, uh, Red Skull's ability, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. For the teleport. So now he's doing so. a range five, range four, uh, Mystic attack into. Oh man, not a great oh, roll. Shane, oh Shane, uh, don't pop the crit, Shane. You've only got two success. <laughs> oh Shane. Oh okay. Well, he pushes one, uh, and uh, and Bill just says, "What if I dr that?" Yep. Uh, so we're doing it again. See, this is where this is where you pop the crit or, or you pop the skull, right? You don't do it on the first one. Um, All right. So is that uh, that's not enough, right? No. No, he's blocking two drs once to take one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was, um, those were both attacks and he's taken, he took one damage. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, like, no, Myster Mysterio's about to catch another rhino to the face. Um, yeah, there, no, there's no, there's nothing there. Un unfortunately the game is over effectively. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, uh, just rough. Um, Hey, this, is, this is what happens. Uh, this is this is the game. Oh, Mysterio! Play, so. Oh no, Mysterio is doing his traps away. Okay. Okay. Run, Mysterio! He could do run, it. my sweet baby he boy. Oh nothing. no, he didn't. Yeah. He rolls nothing. Okay. All right. Well, he tried. Well, good night, sweet prince. Um. All right. So he was. Oh my! Look at that roll. Uh, looks like this is yeah. A god. Is this yeah. the god hunter? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really convert too much, but either way, that's uh. 
a throw. Rhino dies before he gets thrown, so... Um, man, Merzane really should have thrown Rhino first before he did any attacks. Yeah, I, think, right? uh, I mean, sequencing, so that's something that he can clean up a little bit, right? Um, unless he wants to throw Red Skull off the point, but I guess that, I mean, that doesn't really matter. Um, oh, yeah maybe, he, yeah, maybe he could just throw Red Skull, but Red Skull's already injured, and so yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just uh, sequencing things a little bit. Uh, just a casual five on seven. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, That's good. Good roll. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, um, you know, viewers, if you're watching, if you want to get really good at MCP, just roll good. <laughs> just, uh, just roll good. What do you, what do you, what do you think? It's, there, Lucas, pristine advice. I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's helped me a lot. So I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, but yeah. you played with Malekith for a while. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> uh, put some asterisks by those games. <laughs> Okay, all right. That's like half you my put career. Some with That's half, by my, those half pre my career games. Or, so. Yeah, let's 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 put some ash before those pre nerfs Malekith days. You, you jerk. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure one of my whoopings came from you. Oh, yeah, I was actually as soon as you said that, that was a pretty big whooping. But I'm pretty sure that was, I think that was a big whooping. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's see here. We got Loki. Uh, so it looks like he did I am a god. Yeah. Five god. successes into no blocks. No, nothing. Takes four. No, nothing. But not Pick enough. Pick that Luke Cage. Him. Not enough to kill him. He still lives on one. Jeez Louise, eh? Like you can't even get Can't even get one. Yeah. Which gives which gives them a Sam trigger too to heal Bill, you know, and just make just I know. It's brutal. Wanna win um, TTS? Dizzard says never host. Never host. Yeah. <laughs> Microwave your computer for better dice. I mean, look, that uh, that's pretty much what happened to my computer. It, it exploded. I tried that. My computer exploded. Hey, there's just a casual. <laughs> oh, look at that. No, no, Dan, no, uh, just a complete. Hey, three, there. three on seven. I think, yeah. I think, uh, you know, Rosane's dice is getting cold yeah, now. Yeah, Now's your yeah, chance, yeah. Shane. Yeah. Now's your chance. Get them. They, they have cooled significantly. He's only getting three out of seven now. Yeah, he's only getting three out of seven now. Just uh, Patrick saying, Lucas, how many streams do you have on deck this week? Well, actually, you guys were talking about it earlier, about betting how many streams I'm going to do. And uh, I'm going lighter this season, guys. All right, I'm going to – if I do if I do another 45-plus streams uh, in a season, I'm going to die. Okay. So uh, we'll probably do uh, – We'll probably do two streams a week, is uh, is my guess, uh, which puts us at about, um, I don't know, twelve. But I mean, the cuts will go. We'll go crazy in the cuts again. So that'll be like, maybe thirty streams overall. Maybe uh, somewhere between twenty to thirty streams overall this season. Um, yeah. Divorce if you do forty five again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 20, 20 to thirty is probably a good, uh, probably a good guess this season. But, uh, isn't that what we pay you for? We pay you for the big bucks, right? Those those big those big stream dollar dues, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Ashley's the uh, Ashley's the sugar mama here. All right, she's she has. Oh, she's there you a, go. Hey, she's a big girl job, and I just uh, nah, I just have a regular office job. Hey, thanks be to God, she's she's a keeper. She puts up with you, you and your Excel stuff, so I, I think I, she's the keeper. Yeah, yeah, for sure. She's yeah. the keeper. Uh, Sam just getting three on five uh, with two crits. Let's see these both convert just to just rub it in. Uh, oh, only one. Only one. Man. Uh, did Loki do I Am a God? Yeah, um, he did. Okay. All right, well, he rolled, uh, he rolled four. That's pretty good. Yep. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, now he's just got to tire him out, right? Merge. You know, he's he's got him right where he's uh, he's got him right yeah, where he wants yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Oh man. oh man, yeah, it's it it's it's rough to say. Um, yeah, and Sam just backs off there. Luke Cage just kind of hangs out. Where's the uh, the third hammer currently? Loki's got one, and then we've got uh, uh, oh, Bill's, got Bill's, Bill's got two. Yeah, Bill, yeah, yeah, Bill's okay. got two. Yeah. So it's, we're looking at three, four, five VPs. 
Um, Sam's gone now, so it's just Lizard and Luke. Has Lizard gone? He's over. Yeah, here Lizard. Now. Yeah, Lizard pushed uh, Red Skull. So and... Luke. Okay, so he's gonna score uh, five. Yep. Oh, he just teleports Luke to go over there. Yeah, now he's gonna attack Red Skull to try to KO him. Gotcha. Four out of five. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, hey, Red Skull rolled two. Just, but he's dead. Uh, he's dead. He got him. Yeah, he's just dead. Yeah. Oh man, that's absolutely brutal. I is, I don't. I, I mean, a concession here is totally reasonable. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. um although, although, uh, you know, it's it's like, it's funny because like, uh. It's kind of a bummer when your opponent concedes because then on the scoreboard it's like you win the game like twelve to five and it's just like, uh, it's just not as exciting yeah, when you win like as getting like twenty VPs. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but whatever. I, I whatever. guess yeah yeah Mister Mister No Mercy over here just just pile drive them into the ground. That's fine. Uh, I mean, a win's a win, but like, uh, man, it's like <laughs> it's just like. I'm having the best time right now, right? Crushing you. It's like, why do you have so, to? Yeah, why, do you have to why do you have to end this early for me <laughs> by conceding? Yeah, yeah, no. So, so friends, uh, yeah, you you heard it first. Lucas, no mercy. Uh, team was it Cobra Kai? Right? Is that is that what it is? Cobra Kai. I think it <laughs> the um... sweep sweep the leg, right? <laughs> sweep the leg, Lucas. The, the funny is. thing sweep is that if I'm, uh, is that. I'm willing to concede early if uh, if I'm in that <laughs> reverse position, but I don't want my yeah. opponents to. But so so whatever. I, ultimately, what that means is that if you concede, then then I'm like if you concede early, that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid to to do that. Yeah, it's uh, especially um, you know pickup games stuff like that. I I sometimes do that just so we can get more reps in, right? Yeah. Uh, if we can. Uh, see where things are going uh rhino doing rhino things and just kind of whiffing um here's four yeah here's four out of five all right there we go so there's uh two damage on bill i think uh, oh, that, 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 yeah, that, that was a good right, old so luke now just... we got a we got a leadership trigger now so um yeah. so here's uh we see a bill heal <laughs> yeah, just see just concede uh... against lucas to really uh, round one to really tilt him yeah, that's, really <laughs> Til- that's yeah. what I heard. I would be super tilted if you conceded round one. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, you got Pryo and get the VP lead? All right, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Good game. Yeah, no. <laughs> GG, man. Yeah, GG. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so. I mean, and I, th- I think it's just important on a more kind of serious note. Everybody has games like this, right? This is going to happen. You play enough MCP, um, games like this are going to happen. So. I'll try not to take it too seriously. One of the best things about recording games like this, uh, take an opportunity to, to look back at them. Uh, Cause I, I think there are just a couple like minor things that Shane could kind of clean up a little bit. I mean, Shane's a great player um, and he can clean some things up um, and, uh, and, and maybe have a different um, result. Uh, obviously, you know, dice are going to dice things um, and that's just a part of the game. Uh, but the good thing about recording is you can clean stuff up. Uh, we see a 12 die whiff from, from Josh. So again, Shane's <laughs> yeah, got yeah, him right where he right. wants him. That's right. <laughs> that's him right where he wants him. <laughs> he only uh, got 50% success right there on that one. So Right. Yeah. You know, that's really, yeah. Uh, just Hulk doing Hulk stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, seriously, this stuff happens. Oh, look at you know, that. Look at, <laughs> Oh, there it is. Shane can pull this there back now. Cheers. Here's the turnaround. We've done it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Up oh, and there's just a throw, throw uh, from Hulk onto Loki. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, so, and why I kind of brought up, you know, um, games that things just kind of go out of control for you. Um, you you just got to learn from them, right? You got to take an opportunity. Um, I, I think the best way, um, I think the best thing for, for Shane in this position uh, and for anybody in, in a position uh, like this, don't walk away just saying you got diced. Uh, I think that's, that's not a great attitude to have. I walk away, there's a couple things um, that, that both players, uh, you know, Lucas, I think we agreed that there was like a sequencing thing that Merzane could have done a little bit better a couple times, right? Uh, 
So don't walk away, uh, you know, thinking I, I just got diced and that's and that's it. And you played everything perfectly. He got um, the uh, he got the mesmerized trigger on the, the illusions attack. I love uh, it. Uh, so that's yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, um, but, uh, 15, 15 damage on, on on Hulk, right? Yeah, and he's got another attack here. He might actually take Hulk off the board as like a cons as a consolation prize here, because he's it. only done one action, I think. Yeah, Simon, you, you got to you know, there's always something better that you can do. Yeah, definitely. There's no perfect game. You know? Yeah. Um, I think you know that was one of the, the the better things for me when I elevated my game. You know, was being able to kind of walk away and go. I think I, I played okay, um, but what did I do wrong? All right, what are some sequencing? What are you know positions um, that I could have played a little bit better? That's All right. right. Uh, let's see here. We've got four into two, so we're taking. Uh, looks like Hulk's taking two more. Um, paying for a full reroll or a reroll any on Hulk, but uh, he will be living, so. Um, that's now that's game. I'm uh, yeah. with Loki. Um, yeah, Loki doing his thing. Yep, Loki doing his things. Yeah, uh, Josh is just gonna move on the point, get some more, get some more of those sweet, sweet VPs. Uh, was that a charge that we're seeing? Uh, oh, I guess yeah, he could have, like yep, he paid for a charge. Did he have a trickster on one? He could have trickstered, right? Uh, he can trickster. No, it's three. I know it's three. Um, or he could have. I was surprised he didn't trickster against Hulk, but maybe he needed. Yeah. It. He yeah, he has he had, he had eight power, so it surprised me that he didn't. But yeah. Um. <laughs> if all games, yeah, uh, I mean, if, game, if all games move this fast, that's true. It's yeah, an hour, sometimes games an hour like this. fifteen minutes coming up here, so. Yeah, that's um, but some games. Man, it's, really some because, games. it's really because Josh went and go got groceries. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some games last two and a half hours, though. It's kind of those games are crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, usually when a game is this this uh, quick. All right, here we go. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's hop back let's in. Let's jump in now. All right. Oh, hold on. Are they they're done? Oh, yeah, they got the scores in. OK, yeah. Yeah, they got the score. They got the score. Yep. Yeah, the the rhino was the was the mistake that I made, but oh man, I didn't expect that much to go bad. Yeah, I was hoping the um, uh, the Hulk play to double move and teleport and uh, throw Red Skull or throw Rhino into Red Skull would have mattered more, but uh, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Which is good for you because I mean, <laughs> it didn't go. It didn't even look up from there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey Yikes. guys. Thanks uh, for letting us stream that uh, uh, quote unquote game. Yeah. Oh my God. You're welcome. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> that was, uh, that was incredible. Lots of, uh, lots of big dice pools. Uh, that lizard activation early on with uh, uh, that was very, was very cool to see every, peak, peak lizard every damage insane, output. Every insane role was followed up by a slightly more insane role. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the, the damage cooling off at getting a casual, you know, six, you know, six on seven dice, you know, I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. So I mean, just a couple of questions. Um, Josh, I guess I'll start, start with you. So uh, what surprised me, and I think, you know, Lucas and I, as we're kind of um, anticipating some round one plays, uh, really expecting Hulk to to go last, throw a Mysterio off the point. You know, expecting uh, Shane to put Mysterio on the point. But yet, uh, you went with with Sam last and went with with Hulk to to go and go through the portal. And we're assuming to throw uh, Rhino at Red Skull. Was that was that the thought process? Kind of walk me through through that. Yeah, that was it. Uh, okay. Hulk just... being, so Hulk being on that flank was just a ruse the whole time because like. I'm okay with him leaving a character over there because I could eventually get back there easy, right? We all can. Uh, yeah. But positioning Hulk to be wherever I want him round one, which is next to uh, Rhino, is crazy. And then also having, like, if it pays off, I do da I do a damage to him, I get him out of three of Bill, and I have a ton of damage, hopefully, onto Red Skull. 
Right. Uh, right, right. It's a play I've done a few times to people where I've like uh, deployed someone on one side or even in the middle, and they they are not meant to be there. They are just uh, playing you for a fool because I'm just going to go through a portal. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. It was um, initially, you know, uh, Lucas and I were like, "Well, what, what, what's going on? What's uh, uh, when you when you fail the role, though, it makes the schemes kind of go right down the drain, don't they? It's like, oh, the schemes. yeah, <laughs> I didn't get everything. But like Hulk going against Mysterio and and Loki is bad times. But yeah, Hulk yeah, being yeah. in the mix was exactly what I wanted. I just I needed to pressure that side early. So he felt obligated to like stay on that side. And then Hulk's like, cool, you activated the people like Loki's the only person on that side I care about. Mysterio has to double move there because he can't reach anywhere else relevant. Uh, and once he moves the targets I'm wanting to go for with Hulk, I'm just like, okay, Hulk can go. Uh, yeah. No one else can really affect him. And then Sam's there to like, hopefully push someone back. Like he pushed um, Skull back and he uh, tried to push Zemo back, but it didn't work. Um, it also keeps a little bit of like guesswork about where that leader is going to go. And he's one of the, my more important pieces. I don't want him planning for it until like last, if I can help it. Yeah, that makes sense. Hulk is last a lot, but in this case, I think it, I, I I was prepared to play him even third. Well, I, like I said, I, I did like, you know, uh, when you went through the portal, that was kind of what we assumed was a, a rhino toss into, into Skull. So I, like I said, I like the, the thought, right? And like I said, it just, you know, uh, what is it, a 70% chance that you succeed on that or whatever the math is. So, you know, mm-hmm. I, I like your chances in doing that. Shane, I'd like to hear. So, uh, one of the, one of my favorite moments that that you had, which there was a plethora of, right? Everything uh-huh. went uh, perfect for it. Uh, talk to me about the turn one. I am a Baron. After all, is that when you when you run Zemo one? Is that kind of a common play that that you do? What what's uh, what's the card for? What's your what your plan for that? I like using it on turn one, um, especially if I prio because I was going to prio next turn. Um, I figured there would be like when I saw Eyes in the Prize Bill, I figured, you know, like he's gonna he's gonna walk up, Eye in the Prize, walk away, and then have zero power, and then I'll have the opportunity to to try and get a bigger hit. Um with Zemo or yeah, with Zemo onto Bill and then soften him up. And ideally, I th- I think a lot of this goes a little bit better if Rhino does anything with Pryo on turn two. Um he didn't. Because it's like I set it up for for Rhino to to then have um, strategic genius on one of those attacks, yeah. Um, and like I figured with uh, with Red Skull leadership and a reroll, even into Bill, I'd be able to get the turn one robbery off. And then it's like I can at least hang a little bit more with like um, with scenario and and not just you know have it have it run away from me, but um. I whiffed on Rhino and then I placed Rhino like the it was actually like impressive. I like put him in the worst possible place in almost every way. I, I managed to simultaneously put him outside of one of the portal, outside of in, in a spot where I wasn't within one of of either to yeah, robbery. yeah, either the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, within one of Sam because like you had yeah, to be yeah, within it was one Sam, of Sam, but I yeah, it was I wanted to get one of them um and and maybe burn a brace early on if I could. Uh, but but Rhino really just fell onto his face, and then I did him no favors where where I put him afterward. Um, I I mean I I think that's the biggest mistake was was that um, Rhino activation. Everything after that, there's definitely a lot of like mistakes here and there. But it, I think a lot of it was like after the game was already over. Like I probably should have when I had the Z mode or I'm sorry the Red Skull double spender play that did I think zero damage. Um, I, I should have had Dark Rain then, um, mm, but yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure if it would have done anything for me. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I think, you know, we, we kind of named um, the, the misplays from, from Rhino really kind of, I think, started the cascading, right? Um, I, I think, I mean, obviously dice are, are dice, right? Um, I think the only other thing, can you walk us through uh, the turn to round two Loki um, I mean, so Loki is kind of like a little bit past the gray car um, and you end up double walking him or single walking him to the far right uh, portal and just kind of hanging out there. 
there were some kind of, you know, Lucas and I were going to go back and forth of whether or not do you go through the portal, you lose the hammer, but it puts Loki in a position to kind of do stuff. My thought process um, is you double walk space gem into the middle uh, intrusion point, right? So you keep the hammer and it keeps Loki into a relevant position. Were you just trying to, uh, you know, things were not going great. It, it, it had not, I don't, I think you were still much in it, right? Uh, Zemo had dazed, uh, Red Skull had dazed, uh, but you're, you're not out of it yet, right? You're going to wake up, you can get some slaps in. Um, were you just kind of thinking about, you know, stopping the bleeding and just scoring something? Is that kind of what was on your mind? Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I, compl- I haven't played Intrusions in like <laughs> maybe a year. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually put it in my roster today on like a whim. Um, so I was going to go through the portal and then I was like, I changed my mind. I was like, no, let's not drop the hammer. And I figured like at that point I had one play left on the, on the left side where I figured like if it goes well, I at least have some angle where it's okay to have like my, my extracts a little more spread out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can maybe, cause at that point I'm getting probably on next turn anyway. Right. And it's like if I can swing that into somewhat of a of an extract lead, I can I can it's maybe a game at that point. Um and I hoped I hoped I could after that, you know, move Space Gem Loki to the middle and attack, but it didn't actually manifest. It was too far away by yeah. like I think like a hair. Um but yeah, definitely not my uh, not my finest performance here. <laughs> That's all right. It, it's important to know. Uh, then I'll, I'll hand it over to, to Lucas. One of the things that that uh, you know I, I talked about is uh, this happens to everybody. Uh, you know, things are are, are going to not go your way. Uh, sometimes you you misposition you know misposition yourself, uh, and and so, and you just run into. And here's the biggest problem. This was your uh, your biggest downfall. You ran into Mister Avenger himself, Mister um, oh, yeah. America. <laughs> Um, as like, a, as the name on stream, and I'll say it again, Longshank's ratings mean everything. You should grind day and night for it. Uh, you know, Josh has proven the strength of Longshank's rankings again. He's number one Avengers for a reason, folks. Keep him number one in your heart. Sorry. All right, go ahead. When, when you roll uh, like that, you know, yeah. it's hard. Really yeah. You just channeled America through through the, you know, computer dice. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. like pure America energy. Yeah. I mean, I'll, yeah. Also, like you know, obviously, I I definitely I made a bunch of misplays and the dice were crazy, but it's also hard when like Rosane's a fantastic player, so it's it's there's there's little room for error anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I I don't think I set up well enough to win, even if the dice were humane. I I definitely <laughs> think your your uh few mistakes that I sort of caught and punished were not nearly as like shouldn't have put you at as big of a deficit like uh. Dice were a very big factor in the uh, in how wide the canyon was in this in the score and uh, like your options mid to late. But like, I don't think you did. I don't think you like did anything game breakingly like like a mistake that was that game breaking. I think you just like minor things, right? Like you talked about mm-hmm. uh, the major one was probably the loot cage thing because then you get value round two rather than round three, and that helps the flow but um unfortunately you said you wanted to attack sam and i, I that was a really fancy way of saying luke cage yeah oh yeah <laughs> see actually all this is still um my plan is still going swimmingly i'm i'm this is all you know i predetermined this this is uh don't <laughs> definitely don't question this all right this is submarine part, time it's, yeah it's <laughs> a submarine yeah that's all part of the plan baby yeah thank you guys for letting us stream the game and uh, and congrats, Marzane, on the week one win, and uh, good luck to Thank both you. of you guys in the future league games. So I will uh, catch you later, and uh, have a good night. You too. Thank you for streaming, Lucas. Yeah, thank you. All right, there's the first game of Season 14 in the books. Thanks to Ben for joining me on commentary. Always a blast. I'm so glad I could get you on as my first guest this season. And uh, more to come. Stay tuned, and um, yeah, have a good night. Catch you guys next time.